This video will concentrate on Agilent's OpenLab CDS LC mass spec acquisition software. From the status indicator, you can see the status of the LC modules as well as for the mass spec. If you'd like some additional information about the mass spec, you can select the tab just to the right of the dashboard. In order to be able to see spectra or online signals from the mass spec, you must go to the method and turn on the mass spec, give it some voltage, and then send that to the mass spec. Those settings will now be downloaded to the mass spec and spectra is now available. Selecting the method icon, I can now define the mass spec signals I'd like to be able to acquire. I can also put in different time segments. So if I would like to have one time segment where I'm scanning something and another time segment where I'm scanning it wider, I can do that. Additionally, on my time segments in the center area, if I would like to scan first from 100 to 1000, starting at time zero, I'm going to call that a particular signal name. Then, when I get to five minutes, I want to change over to SIM and collect simply a SIM signal, and I will change that to 350. And then finally, we have an ability to be able to do both SIM and scan at the same time. So if I select this pull down menu to select SIM scan, I can now define all the parameters that I want to be able to do for both a SIM and a scan. I can choose to use the same time segment for all time segments or make them independent. I can also change the data storage to centroid or profile. I can designate something as an internal standard or I can add multiple lines to my SIM table. I can change my fragments my voltages, etc. The source defines the type of source that the mass spec will be using. ESI, APCI, or multimode are all available. Additionally, there is a tune file that's available to make sure that your mass spec is operating appropriately. Going to the next item down, these are the chromatograms. This is where we can define exactly which signals we are going to capture from the mass spec. You can have an EIC on one channel, a SIM on another channel, a TIC, etc. There is also a base peak chromatogram available. The timetable allows you to be able to switch the diverter valve. If you have a five minute mass spec run, at the end of that five minutes, you can have the valve change from going to the mass spec to going directly to waste instead of continuing to go to your source. In addition to the auto tune files that are supplied, you have an ability to be able to do your own auto tune by selecting the auto tune and allowing it to go through its tuning functions. Once the tune is complete, you can save the tune parameters to a new file and give it a unique name. Once finished with the method section, go back to the status and it will show you the status of both the LC modules as well as the mass spec. 